Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here from cinemasound.com. Today we're going to be doing a little shootout with the Zoom F8 preamps and the Zoom H6 preamps. Now, we've been using these boxes for a lot of years and there's a definite difference in how the preamps, uh, quality of the preamps on both of these units. But we've been talking about it and now it's time to show up and make it uh, obvious what they sound like. We're going to do a couple of tests. We're going to be doing with the pots all the way open. We're going to be doing some tests with music and then listening to what distortion sounds like. So let's jump in. So the first test we're going to do is with a 25 foot XLR cable plugged into channel one. Both units are being recorded at 96 kilohertz, uh, 24 bit. Uh, and, uh, even though the FA can do 192, but, uh, you know, we'll just leave it at 96 for now. So we're just going to turn the pots up on both of them all the way and then balance them in Adobe Audition so that they have, you know, an equal footing in terms of, you know, what the volumes are like. So here's what the F8 sounds like. And here's what the H6 sounds like. Now, do notice that we're streaming to you right now, so there's going to be a lot of inherent issues with that, just because, you know, streaming ain't the best audio in the West. So now let's check this out for distortion, you know, about five decibels, which is pretty strong. Let's see how they do. Here's what the F8 sounds like. Here's what the H6 sounds like. And now we're going to do music recorded at a good level. Now, this is going to be very difficult to distinguish what's what because uh, we'll record it at a nice, you know, good level. Um, and in over streaming, what you want to be listening for is how are the high frequencies doing? How are the low frequencies um, doing? And is there some weirdness happening in those mid frequencies? And we're going to go back and forth between the same section of music a few times to see if we can distinguish how much dynamic range, how much resolution and how much coloring the preamps of these two uh, these two uh, products are doing. So here we're going to be actually doing a lot of back and forth between the file itself, then going through the F8, and then going through the H6. We're just going to go back and forth between all three of them in the same piece of music, just so that you can hopefully hear any differences at all. So here's the file. Now, here we go. So here's the file. Now here we go.
So hopefully, even though we're streaming, you can hear enough difference between those preamps to be able to make up your own mind as to which one you like better. And for us, you know, the H series preamps are nowhere near what the F series preamps are. But then again, you have a massive price difference. Whereas in an H6, you can have up to six channels of XLR for a much less price than you could eight channels at an F8. But again, you know, you get what you pay for. And if you really need great quality preamps, well, you may need to upgrade, you know, your budget a little bit and get those F series preamps. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. And, uh, and if you found value in it at all, please subscribe to us here on this channel. And, uh, we have got hundreds of other videos that are available for you and come visit us at cinemasound.com where we've got even more blog posts and videos and products for you. Also, if you've never used Adobe Audition at all, we invite you to come check out our product, Adobe Audition 123, which takes you from, I don't know anything about sound at all. I'm a... Uh, you know, a photographer all the way to being able to do Hollywood level distribution and deliverables in 5.1 and higher. We hope to see you at cinemasound.com and uh, post your finds here in the, in, the, in the threads. Until we see you live at one of our events, we'll see you on the recording field. Even if you're